Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach and today we are going to be looking at some more or continuing on the AP Calculus 2005 exam. So here we have uh, the tide removes sand from Sandy Point Beach. Um, let me pull up my calculator and clear it. Uh, the tide removes from Sandy Point Beach at a rate modeled by this function. A pumping station adds sand to the beach at a rate modeled by this function. So we're going to remove sand at this rate and you're going to add sand at this rate. Both R and T and SOT have units of cubic yards per hour, and T is measured in hours from 0 to 6. At times T equals 0, the beach contains 2,500 cubic yards of sand. So this is a rate question. How much sand will the tide removed from the beach during the 6-hour period indicate units of measure? Okay, so uh, because this is the rate, the total amount, um, so for A, we're going to integrate um, from 0 to 6 R of T, dt okay because that's the rate that the tide removes the sand okay so it's a straightforward uh computation of an integral oops enter too many types. okay so i'm going to go to the integral i'm going to integrate two plus five sine of four pi x divided by 25. Okay, we're going to integrate over x, we're going to integrate from 0, we're going to 6, and this is going to be 31.816, and then this is cubic yards. Okay, of sand, b. Write an expression y of t for the total number of cubic yards of sand at beach at a time t. Well, y of t is how much sand we add. How much sand we add is how much is added, s of t, minus how much we take away. Like this is sort of the rate of change of the amount of sand, because I'm adding in s of t and I'm subtracting r of t. So this is how much sand we've added or subtracted, but we also need to start consider the fact that we started out with 2,500. So this is sort of how much was added minus how much is subtracted and added to 2,500. So that would be uh, how I would write that. And if I were on exam, I would fill in S of T and R of T explicitly. Um, I don't know if you have to. I don't think that's necessary. Find the rate at which the total amount of sand on the beach is changing at times T equals 4. Okay. So, again, it's th we're finding a rate, and the rate is the amount of sand changing. And we just described that S of T minus R of T is the rate of change kind of how we did the previous integral. So we have to just plug in s of 4 minus r of 4. Okay. So s of 4 is 15 times 4 divided by 1 plus 3 times 4 minus r of 4, which is 2 plus 5 sine 4 pi times 4 divided by 25. And so the, it's changing at one negative 1 1.909 cubic yards. This is another way to write cubic yards is yards cubed you per hour. Because those are the units of S and R is uh, cubic yards per hour. Mm -hmm. So D for 0 and 6, at what time t is the amount of sand on the beach a minimum, and what is the minimum value? Okay. Um, so I want, you know, like my y of t, what I want is when I want um, this to be minimum. And that happens when y prime of t is equal to 0, right? Finding critical numbers. y prime of t was uh, actually... Uh, oh yeah, this is supposed to be t up here, not 6, just to be clear. And technically, it's better to use different letters, so I'm, I'm going to fix this this one here. Because when you use t as my variable of integration, it's generally not a good idea to... It's just confusing. We would say r... Oh, whoops. s. s of x minus r of x dx. Just use any other letter than t in the in the integrand and then because you're using t up here already. Okay, so by fundamental theorem of calculus, this this derivative is just simply uh, s of t 
minus r of t. So I want to know when s of t is equal to r of t. Okay. And I do that by graphing. Uh, that was the previous problem. So to find when they're equal to each other is, well, actually I can plot, uh, maybe I plot s of t minus r of t. So s of t is 15x divided by 1 plus 3x uh, minus 2 plus 5 sine 4 pi x divided by 25. I probably got a window this better. Um, Cause the max needs to go up to six. And then the min, I don't know, times zero, we're gonna be two, go zero to say 90, 30. gonna work oh I, I probably want to be negative some oops let's try that again um, so I plotted the difference and I want to know when it's equal to zero so this is this is y prime of t is equal to s of t minus r of t right and so when I'm looking for a minimum, I'm looking for when the derivative is going from uh, positive slopes to negative. Oh, sorry, it's a maximum. I drew a maximum. A minimum is going from negative slopes to positive slopes. And I want to know when, it, and, and the point is uh, when it actually hits zero. So it goes from negative slopes, hits zero, and goes to positive slopes. So the derivative here, uh, you can't see, um, but... Uh, suffice to say, like, and this, I'll, I'll trace it, calculate the zero, or you could have calculated the minimum if you've done the integral. Um, I want the, the, I want the zero between here and here, because to the left of that zero here is where, uh, the derivative is negative, and to the right is where it's positive, and so that occurs at t is equal to 5.118. Okay, uh, hours. Now the minimum value there is I have to plug in, I have to compute y of 5.118. So it means I have to compute this integral by plugging in 5.118. Okay, and so let's see, I guess I already did, uh, let's see, math, the integral calculation. I know it's kind of tedious. On my calculator, it's kind of annoying. Some of the more advanced calculators you guys can do. Um, um, more advanced calculators you can do. Um, uh, like you can store functions and save them up. But I, I try to use a basic one for you guys. Um, because some of you may not have those really expensive... Um, uh, TI calculators. There's one thing I, this, this is only going to give me a relative minimum, by the way. Um, if I want the absolute minimum, I actually have to check the endpoints of my boundary condition. Um, yeah. So I'm integrating from X from zero to 5.118. And technically, oops, I need to add, oops, close parentheses. I need to add the original, uh, oh, you see, I left out, when I redrew this, I left out the extra 2,500, because um, I got to add 2,500. Okay. So when I plug in this value, I get 2,492, which is fine. I technically need to check y of zero. That's 2,500. I have to check the endpoints of my boundary conditions and any other relative minimums I have. But from the graph, there weren't any other relative minimums. So um, let's check zero. 
I think we'll find that this one uh, actually ends up being positive or, or bigger. But to be complete, you, you should check any, any local minimums as well as uh, endpoints to get the uh, total, okay? So uh, 2492 at t equals five. That, that seems what I have here. And that's cubic yards of sand, okay? So let's, uh, let's take a look. Um, 31.816, 2500 plus integral s of x minus r of x, y prime is negative 1.909, and we checked 0, a, and 6, uh, so it's t.11 or 118 at 2492.369, which is what we got. Okay, so hope you found it helpful. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.